my first name is Carol, but my last name is Bassy. And in high school, my friends nicknamed me Spaz Baz. Now, no one really remembers why they gave me that nickname, but by the end of the story, it will all be clear to you. So scars, I have a few, and they usually involve chocolate or just tripping over my own two feet. The first one is extra, extra special because it involved both chocolate and tripping over my own two feet. So I was about five or six years old. My family was living in Germany, and my dad was uh, in the Air Force. We had just gotten back from the commissary on the base shopping for groceries. And my mom yells from the kitchen, Carol, chocolate. So of course, I go running, and I go flying into the door frame. So my very first scar is a scar right in the middle of my forehead because I cracked my skull open. But that wasn't even the worst part. The worst part was that I didn't get to enjoy the chocolate until after I got the stitches. <laughs> so I'm not going to regale you with all the stories about all the scars I got in my childhood. I'm just going to fast forward to college because I still really loved chocolate in college. And one year my mom decided to send me this giant Hershey's kiss for Valentine's Day. Now, I'm a really generous person, and I decided that I really need to share this giant Hershey's Kiss with my hallmates. So, you know, you can't just take a bite out of it and share it with your hallmates, right? Because that's kind of gross. So I grab a knife, and I start slicing through the Hershey Kiss. And you're probably all thinking, maybe that's not the best idea, <laughs> right? You'd be right, because I slice through the Hershey Kiss, and then I slice into my index finger. Yes. And I try to be really, really brave about this. I wrap it up and I'm like, I'm like, don't worry guys, I'm fine, I'm fine. And then I fall flat on my face. So, you know, 16 stitches later, I have a bump on my head and a scar on my left index finger. So, you know, that was a banner year for me too, because not long after that, you know, fast forward to the summer, right? I'm working at this place called Defense Personnel Support Center in South Philly. I'm working in the commander's office there. And the commander has an aide who's like an army first lieutenant or a captain. And I kind of have a thing for men in uniform. So, so we start hanging out at lunchtime. We're going on runs, we're getting to know each other, really like this guy. Um, the commander's executive officer really doesn't like this idea. He's like, my dad's age, he's very protective. He's like, he doesn't approve. but. You know, we're both adults, so he can't really do anything about it. So a few weeks later, one of the other officers is retiring. We have a party at someone's house for him. Um, and it's great conversation, great day. End of the, you know, end of the party, we're leaving the house. Remember those two feet of mine? Yeah, I tripped down the concrete steps, flat on my face onto the sidewalk. Scouts on my face for weeks. The aide completely loses interest. So my, my story, my story, looking back, is that it wasn't really my two feet. It was because the XO tripped me because he knew the aide wanted someone graceful, which I clearly was not. <laughs> so in case you're thinking I've outgrown this spazziness, you would be completely wrong. Because my last scar happened about a year ago. I, someone made me really angry. And when I got angry, I was standing between my couch and my coffee table. And on the coffee table was a candle holder with five tea lights. And it was this kind of wire frame with 20 prickly, sharp fingers sticking up on either side. So I send an angry, nasty text. I hurl the phone across the room. I immediately follow the phone across the room, over the coffee table, land flat on my face on the floor, but not before hitting the sharp prickly fingers of the candle holder right here above my left brow and here below my left eye. Yeah, that, that was there for weeks. The next day I see my friend Colleen and her first reaction is, oh my God, Carol, what happened to you? So now, Colleen did not yet know me as Spaz Baz. She thought of me as this graceful, short-footed woman. So it took some effort to convince her of the full extent of my spazziness. And had I not shared my history with you, you might have the same difficulty because, you know, I didn't trip coming up here. <laughs> right? Yet. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. So, but now I know you're all with me, right? And you're just wondering what my next scar is going to be. So. Thanks, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Thank you.